The circle of fifths is a diagram that we use to learn the relationships between the names of the scales. It's, it's really simple and there's nothing magical about it. It's just a diagram that's a memory aid. And we use a circle because it is reminiscent of a clock face where we have 12 numbers around. So just like a clock, um, uh, in a clock, actually, it would be 12 here up at the top. But then we go to 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and so on. And we always go clockwise to get the sharp scales and counterclockwise to get the flat scales. So you need two things. You need your fingers to count to 5, and you need to know that we always start with C major up here at the top. So always what I do I suggest you hold your thumb up and say the name of this scale so that's C so do this with me C D E F G and you're raising your fingers C D E F G showing you my hand as I do that G then becomes the next scale and notice I'm writing the word major I'm actually abbreviating the word major for each of these now hold your thumb up and say G there's my thumb again G A B C D gives us the name of the next scale notice our thumb is always the scale we just wrote so here we'll do it again D E F G A so A major is my next scale Okay, A, B, C, D, E. You see how I'm doing this? I'm using my hand to help me keep track. So then E, F, G, A, B gives me the next scale. Okay, now I'm going to stop because at this point I have to remember that when I count up five, B, C, D, E, F, I land on F. But F is one of these sharps. Remember in the previous video we said that F is included in every sharp scale. So I have to remember to call this scale F sharp. I have to put my thinking cap on. Oops, I just put that in the wrong place. So let's actually put it down here because that's where the sharps are, okay? And I'm going to get rid of what I just did. So I'm going to light out maybe. There we go. Okay, I'll save that for another um, uh, comment. So then seven sharps. Remember that C sharp is included. So when I count F, F, G, A, B, C, it's got to be C sharp because everything's sharped in this scale. Okay, now back to the drawing board to the top. So we're going backwards now. So if I count backwards from C, C, B, A, G, F major is one flat. Now it's not F flat major. The flat is B flat, not the name of the scale. Now I count backwards again, but remembering that there's that B flat, which we're going to keep in the next scale, when I count backwards from F, F, E, D, C, B, oh, B flat, because it's one of the flats. And here's an easy thing to remember. From here on around, every one of the flat scales is going to have the word flat in the name. So you can just count letters and then add the flat to the name of it. B, go backwards, B, A, G, F, E flat. Okay, E, D, C, B, A, flat. Now count backwards from A. A, G, F, E, D, flat. Count backwards. D, C, B, A, G, flat. There's the one that I corrected. And one last one. You know it's C flat major, but let's do it anyway. G, F, E, D, C, flat. Now, the ones that overlap, I'm going to put parentheses around them, they're the same scale. They sound identical. These are inharmonic scales. And then finally, the only other thing you need to know to do any of these scales is the order of the sharps. Fred can go down and eat breakfast. That will get you any of the sharps here. So if you're doing G major, it's Fred. If you're doing D major, Fred can. A major, Fred can go, and so on. Let's do the order of the flats. Oops, before eating a donut, get coffee first. So that means if you're in F major, let's see if I can get all of this in the picture at the same time. Maybe, maybe not. F major is going to have B flat. B flat major is going to have B and E. B flat major is going to have B, E, D. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. B, E, A. 
A flat major, B, E, A, D, and so on. So this diagram and this order of sharps and flats gives you everything you need to know about the major scales.